How's it going guys? Welcome back to a new video and guess what? I picked up a set of new Sony speakers. Now these are the four-way speakers for your car. The model number is XS XB6941. And yes, this one does have that extra bass thing, extra bass branding going on over here. These are four-way speakers. That means there are four drivers in a single speaker. These are rated at 100 watts RMS, 650 watt peak power for each speaker so yeah these speakers are quite beefy now it's a four-way speaker that means it's got a woofer which is down here it's got a mid-range speaker here it's got a tweeter and it's got an extra super tweeter right here and you know guys i absolutely love this front thingy uh, whatever is going on here uh, beautiful design by sony and this one uh, and you might be able to tell this is a oval speaker so these are meant to go in the rear shelf of your car and this is the front shroud yeah it looks it looks awesome and it's got that carbon fiber texture uh, right over there so let me flip it on its back oh yeah these speakers are quite heavy so there's your big beefy magnet So 100 watts RMS, peak power 650 watts, 4 ohms. I always urge you guys to ignore the peak power and always look at the RMS power. And by the way, I will not be installing these in my car or anything. These are for my home uh, car stereo project which is right over here. Now in case you decide to wire these speakers up with your car's head unit, I kind of recommend against that. I mean they will work just fine with your car's head unit but they will kind of underperform. I mean these speakers are rated at 100 watts RMS. I don't think car's head unit will be able to provide nearly enough. So I recommend that you get an amplifier like one of these. This is the Sony XM GS4 4 channel amp. It's got a ton of settings under here and this amp is perfect for powering these kind of speakers up. And this is how I keep my setup here. So I've got the subwoofer amp here, 4 channel amp and I've got the car stereo right here. So what I'm going to do now is install these and I will play some songs so you guys can hear how this speaker sounds. But anyway, first off inside the box you get two speaker shrouds and obviously you get two speakers. Then you get the warranty card, you get two cables and then you also have these two mounting screws and that's pretty much it. So there is no user manual provided, user manual you need to go to Sony's website and download it from over there. And unfortunately I cannot show you the back side of the box because there is the um, there is a sticker that has my address on it. So, so if you guys have seen my previous videos you guys know I also have a set of these. This is the Sony 3-way coaxial speaker. The model number is Sony XS FB693E. So you can see it over there and these ones are rated at 60 watts RMS and these new ones are rated at 100 watts RMS so there's quite a bit of power difference between these two. So a three-way speaker means you have a woofer, you have a mid-range driver here and then you have the tweeter. So in a four-way speaker you have the woofer, mid-range speaker, you have the tweeter and then you have the fourth one which is a super tweeter which kind of adds more definition to the sound. But I kind of sold these ones to my friend and actually got a good deal on this. I even gave him the new uh, cable so he'll come and pick it up tomorrow. And I thought to myself, hey, why not go for a better uh, version of these speakers. So the size is exactly the same. Everything is the same and these ones will fit in that box without any problem. But I kind of like the old speaker shroud. So this shroud comes from this speaker. It fits in like here. And this new one has this shroud uh, which goes in like this. It has the speaker grill. But yeah, I kind of want to negotiate and I want to keep this um, old speaker shroud because it looks awesome. And I kind of like the fact that it's open from four sides here and this X thingy looks awesome. And it fits perfectly on these speakers and the uh, new shroud will fit on these without any problem. Alright guys, so the old speakers are gone. I sold them and guess what? I got to keep the old speaker shroud and that is awesome. 
So let's go ahead and install the speakers in the box and we'll do a sound test. So I will be installing the speaker in this box. I bought this box off Amazon. If you want one of these, all the links are down in the video description. And it's quite a nice compact little box. It's even got the speaker terminals. By the way, these speaker terminals were leaking air. So I put some sealant in the inside of the box, stuffed the, stuffed the box up with polyfill and now it's time to install the speaker and the reason why I chose these particular box is because I want to put the speaker there and this box fits perfectly in the shelf which I will show you in just a moment but for now let's go ahead and install this speaker in the box and to screw the speaker in I will be using this my electric screwdriver and if you want this link is down in the video description and electric screwdriver makes the job a lot easier Okay, so the speaker is now installed and by the way, if you're wondering what kind of a box this is, this is a sealed box, so this is not a ported box. Alright guys, got the speakers installed in my shelf and I do admit they kind of look nice. So here's a quick close up of the speaker and that's my hand just to give you guys an idea of the size of this box. And it kind of comes out a little bit from my shelf but that's okay, uh, it doesn't look bad or anything. You know what guys, I just did an audio test off camera and I absolutely love the sound of these speakers and yes, they do live up to the extra bass name. So let me show you my settings in the head unit and then we'll do an audio test on camera. So let's go to sound and first off subwoofer, subwoofer level, subwoofer level is set to at unit that means subwoofer is turned off. So let's go back here and I had to made some uh, make some adjustments in the equalizer so let's go to equalizer and you see this uh, kilohertz option here uh, 16 kilohertz i had to set this to minus six because the tweeters uh, on these sony speakers are way too loud compared to these ones so this i had to make this little change so eight kilohertz minus six four kilohertz minus six and then two kilohertz minus three and all of the other settings are set to zero and let's go back here uh, fader only the rear speakers will be playing songs so it's set to uh, 15 for the rear speakers and that's pretty much it uh, extra bass is turned on so yeah let's go ahead and do an audio test and yeah that's the only thing i did not like about these speakers that the uh, uh tweeters on these are way too loud okay guys so the first song is from the youtube audio library let's go ahead and play this and I've turned on the volume limiter on the camera, otherwise the sound kind of distorts. So here we go. Okay, so this one is from NCS, no copyright sounds, links are down in the video description. So let's go ahead and play this.
So yeah guys, concluding thoughts, these Sony speakers are awesome. I mean, the bass on these speakers are so good that I don't even need to turn the subwoofer on on most of the times. So yeah, I think these speakers are complete winners. So there's a thumbs up from my side for these Sony extra bass speakers. Alright guys, so thank you for watching this video. I hope this video was helpful in deciding what speakers you want for your car. And these speakers go into the rear shelf of your car if you're wondering. But yeah, I'm gonna keep it in my shelf like this because I wanna listen to some songs in my home using the car audio system that I built. So yeah, I'm absolutely loving this setup here. And yes guys, today is the last day of 2018. So it is December 31st, 2018. And I want to take this opportunity to thank each and every one of you. Thank you for the continued love and support. Thank you for everything, guys. I mean, seriously, without you guys, all this cool stuff would not have been possible. So a big shout out from the bottom of my heart to all you guys. Thank you for everything. Thank you for the support. And thank you for subscribing to my channel and watching my videos. So guys, uh, that's it. I think this is the last video for 2018. Thank you for watching and Stay tuned for more videos like these and I will see you guys next year.